Powerful feature in AutoCAD is what's referred to as fields. And I say powerful because what it does it actually allows you to pull out property information about your drawing or your objects and have this real-time information that changes as that as your objects change in your drawing. Now they really they stole this from um, if you look at like Microsoft Word where you can actually insert fields and you can grab like author, subject, title, those type fields. And it actually works very similar in here because one of the things I can do is if I come into my um, drawing utilities here. Every drawing actually has a drawing properties. And in my drawing properties, what I could do is come in here and say the author is going to be um, Mike Thomas. So I've put my name in there. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a note down in here at the bottom. So I'm going to insert a field here. And what I'm going to do is grab author. It's going to be all uppercase. I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to drop that down here in the corner. So what I was able to do is I was go, able to go through there and add that piece of text. Now this is actually text, it's actually M text. So if I was to take a look at this, let's just do a list on this. What I can see is this is actually M text. So what I'm gonna do is come back to it after, let's modify this and right bef before it, let's say our author and the author is Mike Thomas. So it is actually M text. Now don't be concerned about that gray background. That's just um, for you to know that it's a, a field. Um, it won't plot um, or won't show up um, in any type of export. It's just really to show you that it's a field. And there's actually a system variable you can use to actually change that background color if you don't like the gray. Okay, so let's go back into my drawing utilities and let's go into my properties. And let's say the author is actually going to be MRT, right? Now remember I said it's the uppercase. So I'm going to click OK and we can see that that hasn't updated. Now in AutoCAD, it's not going to update automatically. And there's three things that will actually cause it to update. A regen, a save, or a plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an RE and hit enter. And notice that a regen actually forced it to update. And notice that it's all uppercase because remember I set the properties to uppercase. So I was able to insert that field and get that information. Okay, well maybe what I'd like to do is just below this. So I'm going to come to the end here. And I'm, like, I'm going to say last saved. And I'm going to go and insert a field. And my field is going to be the save date. And the save date, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab something that we can see update. So I'm going to grab this date here. I'm going to click OK. Notice it's dropped it in there. We'll click close. And what I'm going to do is I can see the last time that was saved. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a save. And notice how that updated. Wow, 730 right of the nose. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's a pretty big fluke, but you get the idea. So if I was to wait here, right, and click save again, notice that, that that property has updated. So we can have this coming from the drawing property. So plot date, save date, author, title, subject, right? Any of those kind of document properties I can I can drop in here. Okay, well, what I'd like to do is I'd like to drop in a room label in here. And what I'd like to have is the name of the room and also the, the, the square footage. So what I've done here is I've actually dropped in this um, rectangle, this polyline in here, so that I can actually grab the area from it. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to start with a piece of mText. So let's start with some mText here and let's change the justification to middle center. So we'll drop that in the middle. And this is going to be the study. And again, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to insert a field. Now in this case, you can see there's a lot in here. But what I'm actually after is after object, because what I want to do is I'm going to come in, I want to select this polyline. So I've now selected the object, I've got my area defined here, and what I want this in is an architectural value, right? So it's going to apply it in square feet. Now if I'm not happy with the current precision, notice I can come in here and actually change that, so we can change the round off, or we can actually customize our own um, custom format on the on the settings. Okay, so the object, its area, it's going to be architectural. I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to have a, um, some fixed text and then attribute just below. So we'll close that and we can see that it's put that information in there. 